Hey, this is Tony from Lone Wolf Paintball. Today I'm going to be going over how to tell if your tank has a bad hydro test date. First off, hydro testing. It basically testing the durability and the longevity of the tank. What they do is they submerge your tank, they take the regulator off, they submerge their tank in a vat of water. They pressurize the inside of the tank with water, normally 2,000 pounds of pressure more than what your tank is supposed to hold, just to see if the insides are bad, if there's any cracks, or on unraveling of the carbon fiber, or breakdown in the steel of the CO2 tanks per se. Since I'm on that subject, a CO2 tank, when it comes up for a hydro test date, you might as well not even do it. You might as well just buy a new tank since they're so cheap. Hydro testing does normally cost you under $40 per tank to get done. I'll start off with a standard CO2 tank so you can find the hydro test date right on there. These newer CO2 tanks, they make it pretty easy for you to understand. Right here, hydro test before 7 of 2019. Up above, it is stamped 12, which was made in December of 2014. So these tanks are normally good for five years. I'm going to go next to the 3000 steel PSI HPA tank. Once again, these newer tanks make it pretty foolproof for you to understand and be able to read. It says right here on the bottom, rehydro test before March of 2020. This tank stamped up in the metal. You always look for two digits for the month and two digits for the year. So this tank was made in April 04 of 2015. Good for five years. Puts you back at 2020. So all of these tanks have to be rehydro tested every five years. We're gonna go with the carbon fiber tank. These ones are a little bit tricky since it does not technically say right on there when to get it hydro test before. Since they are good for five years before you have to rehydro test, you always look for two digits for the month and two digits for the year. So on this tank, 03, so that means March, there's the symbol for hydro test, 2015. So five years from March, 2015, you have to get this tested. So you should wanna get it tested in March of 2020. Next tank, because some tanks are always different. You always have to look for the hydro test symbol on there. This is the Empire Ultralight. This tank was made in December 12 of 2014. So technically five years from then would be December of 2019. Lastly, and most importantly, this is an older tank. I have this on here just for this purpose. This tank was made in September of 2005. So this tank had to be rehydro tested in 2010. Right here, this is a hydro test, um, rehydro test certification sticker or stamp as people may call it. And this tank has been rehydroed. They epoxied it on there, shows you this tank was rehydro tested April of 2015. Last thing I'm gonna go over today is the actual 15 year lifespan of any tank. So since this tank was made in September, of 2005, it's got 15 years total. So when 2020 rolls around, this tank can no longer be hydro tested. It has to be thrown out and disposed of. If you guys do need your tank hydro tested, you are more than welcome to bring them in store. We do provide that service for you. It only takes a couple of days to get it done. Also, if you are from out of state, feel free to give us a call at our 1-800 number. You could either ship it into us and then we can ship it back to you once the hydro testing is done. Solely the testing cost, not including shipping, if you are gonna ship it in from out of state, is right around $30 to get the tank done, and it is good for five years. Any of these tanks are available in store for purchase or at lonewolfpaintball.com. Uh, give us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.